Uh, good afternoon, Pet Ben from Sky. Um, on Tuesday evening, you said that um, it would be a risk to include Kevin De Bruyne this weekend. Do you think at this point he'll be fit to be included in the squad? No, tomorrow's not fit. And you're naturally more cautious with him now when he comes back from injury, given the experience last year? No, but sometimes he's not playing. It was one game in Norwich. And sometimes he's substitute during the game, but no. When he feels good, he's good. And has he changed at all? Is he still the sort of player that will come up to you and say, I'm fit when asked? It's, it's a few things. Uh, after the national break, he will be ready. It's not a big, big problem. And what about John Stones? How close is he? Uh, hopefully, after the international break, he will be back. And we speak a lot, don't we, about the, the central defensive partnership. And if Fernandinho plays at the weekend, there'll be three games in eight days for him. I mean, what's his fitness like at the moment, given that workload? Well, didn't have a, he didn't have many minutes in uh, in his legs before this these three games. So, except the last part of the last season, the previous seasons when we were together, uh, he played every three days or in eleven months. So, I think he can do it. Kyle Walker has been left out of the England squad again. How did he react last time, and has it been similar this time? React, uh, Kyle is a big challenge for him, you know, to show the the manager from England how good it is and and ready to come back. So life and, and our life, sports life, uh, always always is about challenge, about uh, deals, about targets, and he has one in front of him in every single game to show how good it is to come back in a short team. Did he need, need an arm round him at any point? or No. Um, just finally, um, since we last spoke, Bernardo Silva has been charged uh, by the FA. I, obviously, you've spoken very much in support of him. Are you disappointed he's been charged? No, no comments anymore. Thank you. Uh, Pep, just a, a word about um, Raheem Sterling. Obviously, he made a, a massive impact in the week. How have you assessed his, his kind of form of late? I have spoken many times about Raheem as well. So. He's in top form, top player. So, after tomorrow, now they're not again. And Eric Garcia, uh, is he ready for the Premier League now, should you need him? He's here with us, I said many times as well. Every player is with us, it's because they are ready. If he's not ready, he, cannot, he will not be with us. Hi, Pep. Just on Kyle Walker as well. How has he changed his overall game in the last three years at, at City? It's, it's, uh, it, he came being an, an incredible outstanding player and he is still is an outstanding player. So physicality is strong, fast and, uh, and we try to help him since, since we are together to be a better player. The reason I ask is because Gareth Southgate, when he explained why Alexander-Arnold and Trippier are in the squad, he said Kyle Walker is more defensive than those two. I think when Walker signed for City, I don't think anybody would have said he was a defensive right back. So has he changed more because of the role he's asked to play in this team? Because he, he, you don't ask him to put a lot of crosses in, you don't ask him to attack. The space is an awful lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ask him many times to attack from wide, attack from inside, yeah, that's why. But he's a player can do everything, Kyle Walker can do everything. But the opinion of the manager, the national team got it. So I'm not here to... to he make a selection, have a huge selection to players to be, you know, to select and... He decided for the last two times, and uh, Kyle respect it, respect it, I respect it, and, and he got to do it. What he does is for the best for the for the national team from England. So, yeah, I said what I said before. It's a big challenge for Kyle to show him day by day, and game by day, how good it is. It's not because he's in national team, no in national team. My opinion change, and I think for Kyle either. So it's remains an incredible fullback. Hi, Pat. I think you've won 39 of your last 44... Sorry? I think you've won 39 of your last 44 Premier League games at home. In the past, teams have gone to stadiums like Old Trafford and they've been beaten before they've even walked out onto the pitch. Do you think you've kind of created that sort of... or made the Etihad that sort of fortress now? I didn't ask this question to our opponents, but my feeling is no. 
No. I cannot imagine one team come before the game don't thinking we can do it. In good way, bad way, I don't think so. So I know the managers, how competitive all of them they are, and how try to seduce the players, said we can do it. We can go there and do a good game and try it. If it's not possible, sometimes sometimes we didn't win, but when we win it's because we do something good and we have to try to do it. Against one team we know quite well, we, we play many times against Nuno Spiritu team in Carabao Cups and, and, and leagues and always was tough. What what do you put the consistency at home down to? Is that the fast starts and getting early goals? Well, uh, our first season was not consistent. Uh, first season we had the problems. I didn't expect when just landed here, just right here. Like I would, at home, I thought we'll be strong in a way, will be tough. It was completely the opposite in the first season, when we dropped, especially in the first month at home, and it was so difficult to recover. But since then, especially the second season, third season. And this season as well, so we are strong at home. To maintain, to try to win the the titles, you have to be strong at home. If don't, you know, no chance. But the way we start good is because we want to play in that way. So not just in the first minutes, no ninety minutes in the high rhythm, in doing in doing everything. So, and sometimes we are lucky, sometimes sometimes not. Hi Pep, for Ian Beto, ISN TV. Uh, many people say Wolves have had a poor start to the season and the Europa League is a hindrance. How have you seen their start this yeah, season? Yeah, it's a reason, yeah. yeah. What can they do to combat that, do you think? Well, Nuno knows better than me, but normally the big clubs that they know to handle both competitions is easier. For one team, they play one game a week and merely play two weeks to be focused on that and sometimes you need a little bit more time. But yesterday they took incredible result there. I saw the game. They were so solid like I expected. And and uh, and and you know at the end they have a a team to them suffer in the Premier League so they are I think it's quite a not big a squad and they have they know exactly what they have to do so it's I think three or four seasons together with the same manager most of the players remained and uh, his solid structure defensive is really impressive so we 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 have to be smart and and. And play good to take a result on on, Man on Sunday. Hey Pep, you obviously bought Joe Cancelo this summer to provide Kyle with kind of competition. He, and Kyle started every every league game. How impressed have you been with that he's kind of risen to that challenge? Well, it's, in, in in the game with Preston, make a step forward. We saw we saw the clips together, and yes, the, the last game was really good too. Um, and because he arrived late, not in the preseason, so most of the things we worked in the past in the preseason, he was not there, so it was completely different what what he did in the past with the previous team. So that's why I need a little bit more time. But I think it's getting better, getting better with the ball. We don't have doubts without the ball. He started to understand what we want, and and he did it quite well in the two games he played. In terms of the competition with Kyle, how impressed have you been with Kyle for? You know, keeping going and improving as a result of that. Kyle don't have doubts about that. Last season happened one or two games, like uh, Danilo played and reacting incredibly well. So we cannot play 11 months, plus maybe international games with just one fullback or one player. Uh, we survived in two seasons without left fullback uh, with uh, Fabian and, and and Alex. Uh, so we need we need this player a position to you know to make, of course make competition to Kyle and let him rest and and maybe when Joao playing good level, take his position. That is what it is. Hi Pat. Uh, it looked last last week like Liverpool might drop points. Um, when you see the nature of the goal that they scored, what what goes through, through your head? Football. It happened. Happened last season. Happened this season. I think they've had more goals from direct mistakes from goalkeepers than anyone else. It happened, really. it happened. So we cannot we cannot control it. So good teams remains incredible team Liverpool, so nothing changed. So try to, to focus in our games and and we'll see. You were saying on Tuesday though that City have never been given anything yeah. in your, your time, they do. I repeat again, yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't feel luck is on your side at all either. You need luck to to win games, yeah. To to make a lot of points with titles in in some moments, you need luck. But we need uh, we had effort and very good things. So 
know. So I'm proud what we have done and the way we have done.